Hi guys, I want to show you Glipper Studio. It's really cool. I think you'll love it. You can take all your images for like vinyl cutting and make it into fonts. Like so all the flowers or whatever. Uh, anything you could use for vinyl cutting, you could turn into a font. Um, to take any fancy letters that you find. Um, you know, and all you have to do is convert it to an SVG and make the cut. And bring it right in here, change it to a font, really easy to get to in the fonts. So here's how you do it. You go import an SVG, and that's not working, so you drag it in. So these are my SVGs over here. I'm going to drag, I'm going to, you click on the A first, because you're going to put this in letter A. So you take this and drop it here and import. Now the bird that I just imported is in letter A. Then you click on letter B. And then you pull in your next one. So you drop it in the same place. E import. There it is. And the letter B. Click on letter C. And I already had that one. Pull that in right there. And import. As you can see I don't know if you can see it, but there's a hummingbird, and there's a bird, there's a bird, and now I'm doing letter D. That's all you do. You just drop it in this little box right here, click import SVG. And, okay, and then you just keep doing that to as many as you, you want to, or all of these. And when you get done, what you want to do is click on this save icon over here on the left. You see that? And you're going to export it as an OTF font. And that'll install. And after you um, download, you click install. And it'll be on your on your computer. Use it anywhere you use a font. So I'm going to click it. And there it is. Okay. So what do you want to do? I'm going to save it to my computer. And I'm going to save it to, but I'm just going to put, well, actually, I would save it to my font folder. Norm, okay, so it's an OTF. Um, fonts are usually TTF or, 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 yeah, TTF or OTF. So these are OTF. So then you save it. I'll save. And... So when it gets done saving, you open it and install it. And then it doesn't show it here, but when when you get done, you will see there's flowers. Okay, so that's done. So um, I could pull up, make the cut, and show you, but um, all these birds is now a font. Everyone, all the birds we put in here is now a font. So isn't that cool? Easy, really cool. And for this tutorial, I'm using a PowerSoft. If you want to try to do a tutorial with it, it's really cool. Um, I can show you the feature of it. Um, it's got this right here. You can um, uh, do squares around your... Uh, like say you're doing a tutorial, you want to show them this part. Let's do a circle there. There, circle that and erase it. You know, and then you can uh, use an arrow. Like, hey, there's me on camera. You don't see that very often, do you? No. <laughs> I like being on camera. Okay, got that. And then um, square, whatever. Erase it, and um, you can do this, which I don't know what it is because I haven't did it yet. It's a paintbrush. I don't know. It ain't paint. Oh, there it is. Okay, do that. And um, don't know what this is either. Oh, that's highlighter, I guess. So, like, I'm going to highlight some words on the screen. With that, yeah, if you can do it straight. And you can add words. 
and a box comes up. Where is it? There you go. Uh, okay, I don't know, that's not working. It was working. My computer is really being slow, so maybe that's why. Anyway, it's so cool. And in the settings, you can get um, a yellow circle to go behind your pointer. You can pull up your camera and have your camera going. Uh... While you're doing your tutorial, it's really cool. It's called A Power Soft. Yeah, I love it. Okay, talk to you guys. Hope you liked it. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.